Western Christianity has often been accused, probably rightly, of paying far too little attention to the Holy Spirit. We, of course, make everything of the Father and of Jesus, but we sometimes treat the Spirit as a postscript. But on Pentecost, we are reminded that the God we acknowledge and worship is Trinity, and the third person of that Trinity, this Spirit, is entirely co-equal with God and with Jesus. And then we get St. Paul's absolutely beautiful promise that the work of this Spirit is in the midst of us not knowing how to pray as we ought, to intercede in and for us with sighs too deep for words. Could there be any better news than this? How often do we seem utterly certain of what we as individuals need and want, of what our communities, what the world needs and wants, and we pray for it so fervently we can't seem to let go of a single path and a single vision. And then later, we think to ourselves, it might have even been catastrophic if that prayer had been answered as it was originally uttered, because it becomes clear to us that God had, has, and continues to have an infinitely greater plan than what our minds seem to be able to come up with. And so how wonderful is it that the work of the Holy Spirit is to take our halting and sometimes misguided prayers, reform them into sighs too deep for words, sighs that then ascend straight to the listening and loving ears of God the Father, who is all too eager to answer those real prayers. Happy Pentecost.